when he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. I did get that like feeling. The real princess. Yeah. This is very useful information, 47. Sorry. What, what the hell is this? This isn't work. Get back to work. All these people I gotta go talk to. It's probably this guy. Patrick's the one who did it. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Very carefully. Means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Nope. Give me alibi, Patrick. I know you did it. Patrick Can you wash his car twice? Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. What were you doing? Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Okay, okay, I guess that checks out. Yeah. He seems hey. like the kind who'd want to take a nighttime stroll. Bath. Oh, they're not in the bathroom. I thought there was like a, a cluster of people in the bathroom for a second. Patrick Token, the man who Carlisle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why well, I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. The butler has one. Okay. First key. Oh, there's the hearse. Okay. Let me take that so no one can get away. What's on over here? Oh, okay. That's to get something from somebody if I need to. Trophy room. Oh. Take that for uh, knocking out purposes. If you know what I mean. Okay, those are some noisy ass birds. Oh, hey, hey, you. What did you do last night? Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, okay. let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. Yes, he was strolling. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. Okay. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock it's she pretty... had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Yeah, let me ask you about Zachary. About Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't yeah. think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? <laughs> That's why I do it's have weird. a lot to see to. Now let me ask you about your suspicious activity. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Okay. So don't push Edward. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I don't know why you told me not to. Excuse me, sir. There's a door here.
What about you, sir? Have you seen anything? Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. I am. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> Uh, the, the short of it, uh, Zachary was very much alive when we left. Okay. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Yeah, yeah, tell me about the dead guy. Tell me about Zachary. Zach! Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle, but who could blame him? Only company he had was his rare plants and mother who travels more than she stays here. Okay. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's mm. better off dead. Is that all? Uh-huh. Are you thorough, are you? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Okay. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. <laughs> you know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Okay, so uh, you're you're kind of on my short list of people who did this. Wait, where did where'd she go? But how'd you disappear so fast? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Suspicious lady. Emma Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. Oh, but I you need are. To account for everyone. Well. I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around 8 o'clock. Is that oh, all? No, not at all. How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. How do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? You In talk to him about Alexa plants. Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. Oh. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything mm -hmm. else you want to know? Yes, of course. Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not okay. just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. And again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Interesting. So, so far I suspect these two. Her trying to blame it on depression and Alexa being gone and him for not really caring about anything. Not sure what that does. Did I talk to everybody? Talk to Gregory. I still need to talk to Edward. You, you, you. And, uh, yeah, I just got to find Edward. Staff room. A sword. Holy shit. That's a vicious murder. Break open. Missing a crowbar. Is this just to turn off all the that lights? That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Can't open this door yet. So, how do I get in there? Gentlemen, he gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your oh. own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. Your own all he kind? wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. I feel attacked. Anyways, Rosie, how's it going? Let me question you. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? No, not in trouble. I, I spent the evening with Patrick. Taking a stroll, right? After dinner, and I went home at one in the morning. Hmm. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. I did get that like feeling. A real princess. Yeah. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. 
Except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't <laughs> tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's mm. always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. But now okay. he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Well, maybe. Just maybe. Did all the groceries it's arrive? Emma. I never thought of it that way. Oh, God. It's such a big responsibility having a baby. I have to protect it, right? How do you even do that? I can't do that. You'll be fine, You, you stab anyone who gets close to your baby. That's how you do it. I'm gonna throw an apricot at somebody. You know, take some bags of sugar. Tell me. She turned up and demanded to be put up in Madame Carlyle's bedroom. That's what I'll use. We're the new heads of the family after all. It is a- Oh my god! Oh no! Someone please! Help me! Oh god, no. I haven't saved in so long. Hey! Huh? Hey! Oh no. Oh no, I have to do all this over, don't I? Okay. Let's try this again. Amy is a great lass. Throw it away. Nobody noticed. We did it. Excuse me. Yes. I wouldn't leave that there. Why not? I need to stop thinking about Emma all the time, but she just makes me so angry. What is it? She scolded Mary for not making the bed the way she prefers it. It's so unfair. So Emma just sounds like a bitch. Alexa, back from the dead, a make-believe funeral, a murder mystery. Oh, all too much. On the crowbar. We'll need a vacation when this is over. There's lots of newspaper everywhere. Is that a dead frog? Oh, we got an axe? Oh, oh, put it down, put it down, put it down. Okay. Let me go see what this is. Driftwood. Okay. What does that have to do with anything over here? Have you guys noticed anything? Anything drifting? Wood-like? What's the significance to that? Oh! A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah, yeah, I definitely gotta get that thing. What's this? Wait a second. This is just like the movie. Holy shit. This is so cool. <laughs> so, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Oh. I already found the missing fuse. And I need it to be perfect. Okay, so this is where I put the fuse in there. And that's if that's the route I want to go. I kind of really want to solve this mystery. I have my suspicions just because I've seen the movie. But I can never be too sure. Anybody seen Edward? Maybe I gotta go upstairs. Time to go upstairs and find Edward. That you weren't that was a bag full of papers. Is Edward over here? Kinds of interesting stories. I no. actually put a pin in it. Yeah, yeah. I should let Sorry. you go. What, what the hell is this? This isn't work. 
Get back to work. Look at me getting all giddy. It's like year ten all over again. Just without the awkward. Being ten? What what the hell? Alright guys, that's where I'm gonna end this one. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps out the channel. We're making some progress on this story. I was able to interview everybody. And do you have a favorite murder mystery, movie, game, TV show, anything? Just let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, I love you guys. Take care. Peace.